Hey guys, I wanted to share something really quick with you, some modifications that I've done, uh, had done on my Squire Standard Squire Deluxe. Can we see that here? Uh, Squire Deluxe built in Indonesia from 2013, roughly through 2016, I believe. This one was one of the first ones, 2013. I got it in 2014 here in Germany. Um, they were... Uh, fairly strong contenders, you know, um, in, in the range of um, like Fender Stratocaster built in Mexico or your vintage player strats, they were in the same or a similar price range. And uh, so I was interested, I needed to replace a um, standard American Stratocaster that had, that had just sold and I was looking at the, at the new models and uh, well of course it's three times the budget and I had budgetary constraints at the time so I went for a different approach and thought to myself well okay let's check it out if I like it I can always add some value later on as I go along so I had that done there is now a brass nut um, instead of the plastic or bone nut and uh, a brass trim block we can see it here um, just take my word on it for it and uh, latest is um, the freeway switch it's a regular five-way switch um, however it adds five more tones by introducing a second switching lane which I'm gonna show you okay let's start with clean sounds and the bridge position sorry for the ambient noise here that's the f uh, fan that came on so anyways um bridge pickup position single coil I'm gonna switch back and forth bec between the standard setting and uh, the new settings uh, as we go along we start on the bridge pickup Now if I pull upward towards my body, like so, it adds, like I said, a, a second switching lane and this one combines the bridge and the middle pickup into a humbucker in series. <laughs> Again with the single coil uh, against the single coil, come and compare it against that. You can tell it's a lot less output than with two. Um, also, it adds a, a lot more mid range right away. Then, second position this would be a typical in between position between middle and, and bridge pickup in single coil. Straight away, uh, straightforward single coil sound, good for rhythm, single note line picking, and so on. Pull it upward, combines. Um, let's check again. All three, but in parallel, not series. I think you can tell that the um, neck pickup adds more bass um, amount to the tone but it's still fairly bright, lots of treble because of the parallel uh, switching and setting. So again, single coil, uh, the backmost in single coil. Pull it up, all three in parallel. I almost like the better than the standard setting. Then the middle pickup in single coil, standard setting. it upward it um, combines the neck and the bridge pickup in humbucking mode in series yes. sounds, sounds almost like a telecaster to me in that setting doesn't it fourth position single coil um, your neck and middle pickup. I think that's your typical uh, accompaniment sound like for things like
pull it upward and it um, combines the neck and the metal pickup into a humbucker in series. Check again. My bad. It combines the neck and the bridge pickup into humbucker mode in parallel. And last, the fifth position, single coil, standard setting. Hold it upward, combines the first two into a humbucking, full humbucker mode in series. So it might even get you by on a jazz gig, you know, like... Try some slightly distorted crunchy tones. This is uh, an amp with um, modeling circuits, not too many, it's not a modeling amp, but it has a couple of built in emulations. One is, uh, I think the setting here is called Stack, which I take for a typical British amplification Marshall Stack, something like that, but not high gain, just two thirds of the gain, something like that. So we start on the uh, bridge position again with a single coil setting. Then the humbucker setting in a series, the back birds, the, the backmost two. Then the second position, single coil, the backmost two in single coil mode. Pull it up, the backmost two in full humbucker mode. I think you can tell it's a lot more mid rangey, a lot thicker. A little bit of natural compression there. Compared to the single core setting one. I'm back to Different, um, uh, difference in, in sonic output, I think. Not so much in game, which I find very convenient. I mean, the, the level of volume doesn't change all that much. Maybe they adjusted for that, you know, in the uh, whole design of the thing. So, uh, middle position and single coil. <laughs> Pull it up, combines the utmost two in humbucker mode. Come on. And then the fourth position, single call, the first two in single call mode. Pull it up, combines the neck and the bridge in humbucker mode. This must be the parallel setting again because I don't hear that much difference, not so much mid range as before. Ok, 
Okay, and last position, fifth and single comma. Yeah, that's a typical nasal, I like my voice now, a typical nasal um, crunching. Which you could also uh, use for rhythmic things like, I don't know. And now I'll pull it upward and uh, combine the first two into full humbucker mode. A lot more singing, a lot more mellow, mid range again, natural compression. <laughs> And of course, if you take a different setting, um, like a high gain setting, like well, <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised. It really, it sounds like a like a humbucker guitar, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyways, uh, that was it. Uh, that's the freeway switch. I'll put the links in the channel uh, in the video description below. I hope you liked this presentation. I hope I didn't babble too much. Um, if you did, come back. Feel free to subscribe, ding the bell, leave me comments. Uh, leave me comments below, and hope to see you very soon. This was the freeway switch on a Squire Deluxe modified to adjust for more tones and uh, combine more tones into it. Oh, by the way, this is um, the pickguard wasn't modified at all. This is your regular switching lane. It fits right in. And all you have to do is uh, know your way around a soldering iron. That's all, the, all it takes. And reading um, the schematic. <laughs> all right, uh, Westbound for Westbound Music. See you all soon again. Bye-bye. Thanks. Mm -hmm.